Now, one of the interesting characteristics of the large language model revolution that we're currently going through is that lots of companies have released open weight models. What that means is the trained model, the final product, they are allowing to be downloaded and used in all kinds of interesting ways without relying on their hardware and their cloud services. I mean, Google give you some open weight models, even Meta, that's Facebook, give you some. Now, one company that didn't have any kind of open models was the company with open in its name, OpenAI. So, of course, famous for ChatGPT, they didn't have any open source models of any kind. They said a few months ago that they were going to fix that, and now they have. They've released two models, uh, a 20 billion parameter one, which they say behaves almost as well as O3 Mini, and a 120 billion parameter one that runs almost as well as O4 Mini. Now, both of these can be run on local hardware, particularly the 20 billion one. All you need is 12 gigabytes of RAM. I'm running it on my laptop from just the CPU, and it works slowly, but it works. And you can run it from a GPU if you've got a big enough graphics card, maybe one with 16 gigabytes of RAM, which some people, particularly gamers, will already have. So here we are, models that you can run on your own hardware, doesn't rely on any cloud services, complete privacy, of course, because it stays here, and it's running completely under your control. So what I've done, I've taken the 20 billion parameter model for a spin. I just want to see, is it really as good as O3 Mini? Can it answer some complicated questions? Well, that's what I'm going to demonstrate now. So if you want to find out more, please let me explain. Okay, so to use OpenAI's GPT OSS, we're going to be using Olama. So the first thing you do is go over to olama.com. This is the website. And of course, just click on this big download button here. Pick your operating system. I'm going to show you the Windows version uh, using the GUI uh, to start with. And then I've got a more powerful Linux machine, which I'm going to use the command line version because it has a bigger GPU in it. So download and install as you would normally for Windows. OK, so here we are inside of the Olama Windows GUI. Basically, a few things to know. You can click here on the left and pick different models that it supports directly. We want this one. If you have, once you type in a prompt and it's not been used before, it will go ahead automatically uh, and download it. There's also an option here to use web search. We're going to deactivate that for the moment because we just want to talk to the model directly without it going to the web. You can do that. You can go onto the web, parse the results, and kind of give you uh, a, an answer as well. That works very well. The turbo mode is a new way of running these models in Olama's cloud instances. We're not going to be doing that today. OK, so what we're going to do is we'll start with a very simple question, just as a kind of a test before we move over onto our more powerful machine with the bigger GPU. OK, so here's our question. Answer yes or no. Is Paris the capital of France? Hopefully this shouldn't tax it too much. So this when it's doing these dots like that, it means it's loading the model into memory or it may even download it. It will show you that if it hasn't if it's not already downloaded. So once it's loaded into memory, it will then start the processing. OK, so it starts the thinking stage because this is a thinking model. And it's just starting to analyze what we're saying. Now, first of all, notice here it was running on my laptop uh, because it's a 12 gigabyte model. So I'm running this mainly from the CPU. It does a bit of thinking, 13.4 seconds there, and then comes up and gives us the answer yes. Obviously, if you ask more questions, you're going to get longer thinking periods and a longer response. Now, we're going to do that, but we're going to do it on a machine with a bigger GPU. OK, so here we are on my Linux box. Let's have a quick look at the uh, GPU in here. We can see it's an RTX A4000 and it's got 16 gigabytes of uh, video RAM, which means that model will load directly into the GPU. So all we need to do is do Olama run and then it's GPT OSS and then the 20 billion version and that's now running from the command line that's now loaded up into the gpu so let's ask it some questions and see what we get okay let's try a simple one correct the spelling and grammar of the following text and then you've seen this in other videos for example south africa there has got two a's in it kilometers there with the c it will go ahead and uh, fix that so let's just get it to do it. We get the thinking stage, which is what I need to do. And in fact, it's actually pointing out the different things there, kilometers uh, and then 
uh, Africa with two A's, and it's gone ahead and fixed it. It spans in present. Uh, yeah, and that's right. So it can do that, as you'd expect, of course. This is a very powerful model, no problem whatsoever. Okay, here's an interesting one. You are an English teacher helping a student with an exercise. It's important that you follow these instructions precisely. Read the following text and pick out the most unusual word. Find a one word synonym for that word that you have picked. Take the synonym and reverse it. Okay, so this is following instructions and also doing English uh, comprehension. Probably the wording that it wants to pick is quixotical. So let's see what it does. It's going through its thinking stage, looking at the different words. We need to identify the most unusual word. Uh, it said it could be quixotical, could be uh, alchemy. So it's going through it. Uh, and then it's working out the uh, of a synonym, then reversing reversing it and all that. So there you go. So it's just given us this word here. Now we see from the thinking what it's done. So it's picked quixotical and it's made the word idealistic as a synonym for it and then it's reversed idealistic and it's got that right so absolutely brilliant now here's another one that I tweeted about uh, on social media a question that I often ask now a lot of the small models just get this wrong completely they re reply uh, that Alice has three uh, Alice's brother has three sisters so Alice has five brothers and three sisters uh, and of course Alice is a sister of the brother so it should be four and that's given us the right answer the smaller models don't cope with this. So this is really good that we're getting a model that you can run uh, on your local equipment that can get this kind of answer right. Okay, let's just try a quick programming question. It should be able to handle this uh, really well. I want a, a quick Python program I've asked it to write. Uh, counts the number of alphanumeric characters in the phrase Gary explains uh, and then converts it into hex and then reverses it. So it should be pretty simple for it to do. Uh, let's go ahead right here's the python program that's coming out and uh, we're going to go and cut and paste that now and see that it runs okay so this is the program exactly as it gave it to me uh, i've just cut and pasted it the answer we're looking for is four five uh, that's i know that because i've asked it's good and there we go four five so it's able to do some simple python programming no problem whatsoever. Okay, one final question. You have two hourglasses, one that measures actually seven minutes, the other measures 11 minutes. Using these two hourglasses, can you measure 15 minutes? Now, as you can imagine, a small model doesn't get this right in the slightest. In fact, a lot of the big online models for quite a while couldn't get this right at all. Uh, so let's see how this model that we're running here locally, and this is the 20 billion parameter one, not the 120 billion parameter one. Let's see how it does it. Okay, so it's done lots and lots of thinking. And so what's it said here that you flip the seven and the 11 minute glass, that's correct. The seven minute one empties and then you flip it again. Now at the 11 minute mark, when the, uh, the 11 minute timer empties, you flip the seven minute timer again. Now why you're doing that is because it notes down here, there is four minutes left to run in that seven minute timer. And then when that four minutes goes, you've got the seven, and that is actually the perfect answer. That is the best way to get 15 minutes using those two timers. Okay, so there you have it, the uh, open weight models from uh, OpenAI. I love to hear your thoughts on those. Do you have a graphics card? Big enough to run those? Can you do that? Are you interested in Olama's turbo mode, for example? Love to hear all your thoughts. My name is Gary Sims. This is Gary Explains. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up. And if you like these kind of videos, then why not stick around by subscribing to the channel? Please also do check out my Patreon page. Okay, that's it. I'll see you in the next one. <music>